understand this. All right, for those of who you who have not used the graph editor and aren't too familiar with this, um, this curve has some points. There's a point down here at the bottom. There's one right here, kind of in the middle. Another one in the middle, and then one at the end. Those are our keyframes. So everywhere you see those little dots, those are our keyframes. And those right there in the middle, those are the two keyframes that we created in the middle. All right, these values going up over here on the left side, that represents the value of our curve. So our curve, remember the U value goes from zero to one. So zero, if we go up to one and go across, you'll see it matches up to the end of our curve. These numbers along the bottom represent the animation frames. So right now it's on frame three. I don't know if you can see in here, but there's like a little red three on this red line. That's because right now our animation is on frame three. So if I minimize this, you'll see we're on frame three down there. And as I move this, you'll see that line move in my graph editor. It's showing where we're at in the animation. Okay, right now it doesn't matter where that line is. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to kind of move it out of the way. Okay, here's our two points. Let me kind of get this so you can see a little better. I'm going to close out my channel box. All right, so down here you see our two points on our road, 100 and 141. How do we slow our vehicle down between those two points? Well, the easiest way is to increase the number of animation frames in between those two points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of those points right here in our graph editor, that one and that one. So I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to make sure my scale tool is selected over here on the left. Now in the graph editor, I'm going to press and hold down the shift button. I'm going to press and hold down the middle mouse button. And now I can drag left and right to scale that. I can also scale up and down, but that's not what I want to do. I just want to scale it left and right. And what I'm doing by doing that is now there's more animation frames in between those two dots. And more animation frames means it's going to take longer for our vehicle to get from a U value of this to a U value of this. All right, so let's go ahead and play and let's we'll see what happens. Our car should go fast and then it slows down. And then it speeds up. And if you look at our graph, that's what happens right here. Our vehicle at frame one is at a, on our curve, is at 0% on our curve. And then right here at around this frame, our vehicle is at 40% on our curve. And then it doesn't reach 60% of our curve until the animation gets up to 169 frames. So all we did was increase the amount of frames in between those two dots. If we sh if we reduce the number of frames, let me go back to my scale tool, shift, middle mouse drag, left and right, we can decrease. Now there's like hardly any frames in between those two points. So that, that means it's going to, vehicle's going to go and then also it's going to really speed up and then it's going to slow down. So let's go ahead and test that out. So you'll see it just all of a sudden just zip through there. There it is. <laughs> Not good if you have pedestrians walking through there. I'm going to be getting a ticket. All right, so shift, middle mouse drag. Whoops. I was on that point, so let me just redo that. Shift. That's okay. We'll just reline that back up. It's kind of wherever, you're, wherever you click on your mouse is where it's going to scale from. Um, so if I like click over here, see it scales from that point. If I click over here, it scales from that point. All right, so I kind of want this in the middle. So let me go ahead and just scale this. I've got a certain amount of frames in between there. And it looks like it might be right. I'm going to switch to my move tool. And I'm going to shift. And what I'm going to do is the easiest way if you think about this, our animation is 240 frames long. And right in the middle of that is 120, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those two key frames. I'm going to hold my shift button down. I've got my move tool selected. I'm going to hold my shift button down, hold my middle mouse button down, but I'm, going to, I'm not going to push a middle mouse button until my cursor is directly in the center 
of those two keyframes. It's just the easiest way to do it without having to use math. All right, I just push my middle mouse button. Now I'm just going to move it over until my cursor is lined up with the uh, 120 down here. Once I get it lined up, I can let go, and now it should be pretty centered up. Okay, why am I not moving these up and down and only left and right? Remember, up and down, this right here is the value. That's the placement on our curve. Uh, left and right is our frames, where we're at in our animation. If we move it up and down, if you look down here on our road, you'll see those two numbers shift. See, like that? So we don't want to move it up and down. We don't want to change the uh, where our vehicle is on the curve. We just want to change how many uh, frames of animation. All right, let me undo that. Let me go and play, see what we have. Okay, that's a little bit slow for my taste, so I'm going to decrease the amount of animation frames in between those two points. So again, make sure my scale tool selected. Hold shift down, middle mouse, and I'm going to kind of click in the center right here on the 120 mark. And then now I'm going to drag and kind of pull these in just a little bit. All right, let me test my animation again. All right, much better, except I'm going to go ahead and just touch it one more time. All right, so I like this right here. But I don't want my vehicle to just all of a sudden change speed so instantly. I want it to be more smooth. The way we do that is by modifying some... Okay, I guess the easy way to explain it is I'm going to select this keyframe. You'll see these two brown lines. Those are handles. If I grab one, if I just click on one of these handles and select it, now I can use my middle mouse button to, oops, I'm in the scale tool. Let me switch to the move tool. All right, now I can middle mouse drag that, see what it does. But right now it's moving both handles. I don't want that to happen, so let me undo that. I'm going to select the keyframe, and I'm going to go up here to the menu where it says keys, and I'm going to click on break tangents. What that does, that's going to allow me, it's going to separate those two handles to where one does not affect the other. So now if I select this handle down here, middle mouse drag on it, it doesn't affect the other handle. Now if I wanted to go back the other way, I can just select my keyframe, go up to the keys menu, and select unify tangents, and it puts back the way that it was. So if I select this handle, move it, so that's what that does. All right, but I want it broken, so keys, break tangents, I'm going to select this handle down here, and I'm just going to line this up with this middle section right here. Just kind of line it up so it's nice and straight. So I get us a, a nice little curve there. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to select that keyframe, go to my keys menu, break tangents. I'm going to select that handle, and now I'm going to middle mouse drag it with my move tool, and I'm just lining that up. So now if we play our animation, it would be a little bit smoother. But he's still stopping a little too fast. 